Hey everybody, so today we're making a 10% niacinamide serum. So niacinamide helps minimize redness and blotchiness. It helps build keratin. It helps regulate oil production. It minimizes pore appearance. It treats hyperpigmentation. And it helps minimize fine lines and wrinkles. So this is a great ingredient. So in order to make this serum, you need a digital scale that weighs to 0.01 grams. And we're gonna be making a total of 15 grams. So start out with a 50 milliliter glass beaker and begin by adding in 12 grams of distilled water. Next, I added in 1.5 grams of niacinamide. And you want to just mix in the niacinamide until it completely dissolves. And this can take maybe about five minutes. It doesn't really take too long, but mix it up and then just let it sit for a little bit until your formulation is clear. Next, I'm adding in 0.3 grams of vegetable glycerin, then 0.6 grams of propendial. Now it is time for the preservative and I'm using Liquid Dermal Plus here and I added in 0.07 grams of the Liquid Dermal Plus. And then I'm adding in 0.3 grams of Calendula Extract. So mix everything together to make sure it's well combined. And now it's time for our gelling ingredient, Hyaluronic Acid. So Hyaluronic Acid has amazing benefits for the skin. I talk about it all the time here on my channel, but a big reason I'm using it is for its gelling properties. So when you purchase a hyaluronic acid that has a molecular weight of 1-1.5 million Daltons, it will create a gelled texture. So I absolutely love using this ingredient in serums. And I added in 0.15 grams of the hyaluronic acid. So the way that I like to incorporate hyaluronic acid into my formulations is I like to mix it all up as much as I possibly can. It takes a while to hydrate into water, so it's going to like clump up. You can also just let it sit on the very top of your formulation and just leave it like that. But I personally like to mix it in. I think it goes a little bit quicker doing it this way, but it can be kind of frustrating. So if you don't want to do it this way, you don't have to. So you can either just let the powder sit right on top of your formulation or mix it in like I did. And then you want to cover it with some aluminum foil and right on top of what your formulation is so you don't forget. And you want to let it sit for at least three hours. I typically let mine sit overnight. So it has been 24 hours later and my formulation is completely gelled. It's a nice, a clear gel texture. It looks absolutely wonderful, it's perfect. And I decided to use this half ounce glass dropper bottle to store my serum in. I'll link down below to where I purchased these and I'll try to find some similar ones over on Amazon. So just pour your serum into your bottle and you're all done. This is the finished serum. So I decided to add a label to my product as well, like I always do. And if you would like to know how I make my labels, you can go down in my description box to a link that shows you guys exactly how I make them and how I waterproof them. If you're not sure how to use a serum, what I like to do is after I wash my face and while my skin is still damp, I'll take about three drops of a serum, rub it in between my fingers, and massage it all over my neck and all over my face, and then I let it dry. And afterwards, I will follow with an eye cream and a moisturizer. So now that you guys have seen how this serum is made, let's take a look at the formulation. So here's my formulation for the 10% niacinamide serum. If you want, you can easily substitute out the distilled water for some rose water, aloe vera if you want. You can use just propendial, or you can use just glycerin. You can use a different extract if you guys would like, and you can use any other water-soluble broad-spectrum preservative you would like. And if there's a different gelling ingredient you prefer over hyaluronic acid like septum in, you can easily use that too if you would like. Also, if you guys don't know how to transfer a formulation from percents to a weighed out recipe, I'll link down below to a video that shows you guys exactly how to do that. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this serum recipe. I know it was a really quick formulation, but this is a really awesome serum and I've actually had a lot of requests to make a niacinamide serum and I've noticed this ingredient is getting pretty popular. But now that we've reached the end of this video, it is time for my Patreon shout outs. So first is Essence of Nature over on Etsy, at Stardust Bath and Body over on Instagram, Nature's Farm Girl at naturesfarmgirl.com, Kennedy's Essentials at kennedysessentials.net, Let's Blend at letsblend.bigcartel.com, Creative with Love at creativewithlove.me, Trina's Jewelry Box over on Etsy, Wallflower Wildflower at wallflowerwildflower.com, Heartfelt Beauty here on YouTube if you want some more formulating videos, HSB Organics at hsborganics.com, I am Beautia at iambeautia.com, Yellow Hippie Store over on Etsy, Sugared underscore Pineapple over on Instagram, KAJ Bath and Body over on Etsy, and Blue Mint Soaps at bluemintsoaps.com. All my lovely patrons will be linked down in my description box. Also, if you didn't know, I sell skincare products myself over on Etsy. I'll have my shop linked down below and in the corner so you guys can find it easily. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you have any suggestions for any future recipes. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! I'm
stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time Like I'm pro, I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen Because I've had a vision Now I'm on a mission to find myself with you